So here I am in a artillery you probably haven't seen me drive in years because I really haven't driven it in years. Very few games over the last years, but um, this is my first ever tier 10 tank because I unlocked it when it was a tier 7. But um, yeah, uh, we're just here on uh, trying to do T25 missions. There we go, tracer, tracer fire. So first of all, the fence is broken. And I saw a tracer uh, looking at the usual arty spots and aim, 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 aim. And fire. Okay, wonderful. There we go. So in our next game, um, it was on highway, uh, moving into what is not a usual arty spot. Uh, still in the GWE 100, still doing the mission. Uh, swing around and um, looking for broken foliage, knock down trees, enemy tracers, anything in the usual arty spots. You can see I'm pre oh there we go. There's a tracer and and a knock down tree. Shots in the air and boom. Okay, two games in a row. Um, blind arty kills from tracers and knock down trees. And in chat you can see our Waffen Tracker Panzer four. Thinks it's hilarious with a lol. But it didn't end there, because in the third game, except I've switched tanks this time, I got bored playing the GWE 100, I decided to hop into the M40, M43, which I haven't played since I last aced it, but um, yeah, we moved up, and again, big gun trying to do the mission, and <laughs> it's the beginning of the game, we'll speed it up. And yeah, we're just going to set up here, looking in the usual arty spots, looking for knockdown trees, um, no trees knocked down here, let's switch. Let's switch over to the back corner because there's usually arty back here. Any knockdown trees? Um, no, no knockdown trees yet. But uh, we're aimed, or we're reloaded, or loaded. Haven't reloaded, haven't fired yet. But um, just looking for again tracers, looking for knockdown trees. <laughs> third game, third game. Come on, any time around now. Yeah, okay. No one's firing. No trees knocked down. Enemy team must be must be quite experienced, or the enemy RT players may be quite experienced. But there are three RTs, so there must be must be at least one of the three. And oh, there we go! At least one of the three enemy RT must be back here. Knock down tree, and boom, and yeah, okay, um, yeah, three games in a row with three blind RT kills, and yeah, just just RT players. They never learn. They never learn. Hi folks, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the TVP VTU, a tier 8 Ch Czechoslovakian medium tank, although to give it its full name, it's the TVP VTU concept, because it's a concept tank, it only ever existed in blueprints, it never even made it to prototype, but uh, basically in late 1945, December 1945 to be exact, at the end of World War II, Czechoslovakia wanted to reinvigorate its tank building program, both for its own military and for economic reasons. Uh, you know, because prior to World War II, they designed original tanks, both for their own use and for export. But after the Germans had taken control over their industry during the war and basically told them what to build, they wanted to get back to designing and building their own tanks um, and exporting them and maybe making money. Um, especially as they saw the evolution of the tank during World War II, uh, especially regarding German and Soviet tanks. So in, as I say, December 1945, the uh, military, the Czech High Command sent a list of requirements to the Military Research Institute, which in Czechoslovakian is abbreviated to VTU. I'm not even going to try and pronounce its Czechoslovakian name, I'm just going to put it up on screen. But the VTU received designs from the Czech High Command regarding a new tank, and this new tank was to be based around the German 88, with the um, potential to be upgraded to a 105 millimeter gun if required. So a year later, the uh, VTU presented the design and a miniature mock-up of a tank they decided to call the TVP. And the TVP was basically a mashup of German, British, 
uh, and Russian design features that came from World War II. So you could see the flat German armor here, the use of the uh, long 88, the uh, sloped armor came from Soviet tanks, and also a cast turret came from Soviet tanks. So um, a lot of influence from other nations. The design was improved between 1946 uh, and 1949, at which point the Czech High Command were finally happy with the design and they placed an order for it to be built. But a few months later, the Soviet Union, let, let's just say firmly insisted that the Czechoslovakians buy and use Soviet armor. And if they wanted to build anything themselves, it would have to be based on Soviet designs licensed from Russia. So in the end, the project was abandoned and never made it to production. So in game, the tank looks a lot like the T-40, which is the, Czech, the, the Czechoslovakian tier 6 premium tank, um, and that's because it's basically the same tank. Uh, while the VTU actually designed the TVP, there were two companies competing to actually build it once it was finally approved. Uh, one of these companies was Skoda, the other company was a company called CKD. Um, and um, they both had their own ideas regarding the design, so they took the T uh, the VTU design, but they made their own tweaks to it, uh, and Skoda's tweaks basically resulted in the Skoda T40, again, only on designs, it was never actually built. But um, if you've watched my review of the T40, you'll know that I didn't like it very much. In fact, I hated the, TV, uh, the Skoda T40, and this is pretty much the same flaming tank. Um, and you'll also know that I am uh, wasn't a fan of the T-34-100, the tier 7 Czechoslovakian tank, and I think is that a that's a T-34-100 behind, so not a big fan of the T-34-100 either. Even though I had some amazing games in the T-34-100, I thought that was tank was only really good if it was top tier, and when it was bottom tier it was absolutely awful. So didn't like the tier 7, didn't like the Skoda T-40, and the TVP is pretty much... Uh, collaboration or a mix of those two tanks. So really, really, really wasn't looking forward to playing this tank. Um, however, however, um, you know, well, not however, uh, <laughs> I was right. I was right. I, I got this tank. I started driving it and I absolutely bloody hated it. Um, in fact, I, even though I'm not a big fan of the tier seven, as I say, there were times I wished I was driving the tier seven instead of this. Uh, and needless to say, the best moment I had in the TVP besides acing it was selling it. Um, I couldn't wait to sell this tank because I thought it was bloody awful. Um, now, those eagle-eyed players out there may have noticed that um, I'm actually using the stock turret here. Um, and why? Why am I using the stock turret in the TVP? Um, well, I was just trying to make this tank work because I couldn't make it work. And, and this is just one of many, many attempts to make this tank playable. You know, uh, I was willing to give up everything, a lot of stats. In fact, I might as well do a tank compare here. So using Tanks GG, here's the TVP VTU as I've got it set up in game. So everything is upgraded except the turret and I'm using the 88mm instead of the final 105mm gun because in Basically, to all intents and purposes, the 88mm is a better gun than 105mm. It gets more penetration, it gets better DPM. Um, the only thing it lacks is the alpha. So, um, you know, I think the 88 is a better gun than the final 105mm. But um, here we have the TVP VTU with the final turret and the same gun. So it's pretty much set up the same. So the only difference between these two setups is the turret. Now, I've tried both turrets. I've tried it with the 88mm, I've tried it with the 105mm, and I just couldn't get this tank to work but I'm using the stock turret and you know you might think I'm crazy uh, but that's the only way I could get the tank to work so I'm giving up DPM by using the stock turret because the rate of fire and reload isn't as good uh, I'm also giving up ammo <laughs> the ammo is bigger in the TVP VTU with the final turret the aim or the turret traverse is slightly better uh, shooting uh, during turret traverse is slightly better with the final turret uh, we'll get back to the next one in a moment. The um, turret traverse speed is better with the final turret. The uh, health, you get 100 more hit points with the final turret, and you get 10 extra meters of view range. So I'm giving up a heck of a lot. I'm giving up DPM, I'm giving up view range, I'm giving up health, I'm giving up turret traverse in order to use this final, or use the stock turret over the final turret. But the whole reason I'm using the stock turret is, is this. 
Um, the only way the stock turret is better than the final turret is it gives you more gun elevation and more gun depression. So you get two extra degrees of gun depression with the stock turret than you do with the final turret, even though you have to give up so much more. Okay, so it's only got six degrees of gun depression, Irish. Why does that make it so bad? There's lots of tanks that only have six degrees of gun depression. Well, you see, the gun depression is only the start because this tank is as big as an E100. I know it doesn't look it here, but this is a medium tank. Same problem as the T40. That's as big as most tier 10 heavies. It's absolutely huge for a medium tank. And that means it's very, very hard to hide. It's very, very easy to hit, which comes to the next issue with the tank is that it has absolutely no armor. It's got 65 millimeters on front, even though some of it's slightly sloped. It's got 65 millimeters on the front of the turret. The gun mantlet is quite small, easy to avoid. The side of the tank only has 40 millimeters of armor, uh, turret and side of the tank, and the rear of the tank only has about 30, maybe 35 millimeters of armor. So it's got absolutely no armor. It's a tier eight, it sees tier tens, it's got no armor. So that is the first issue with the tank. Not only is it huge, but it's it's got absolutely no armor. What armor it does have is mainly flat, um, and it's a huge target. The camo rating isn't very good, um, so yeah, I, I, I'm not not a big fan of it. Um, so the armor is terrible. It's big, and when you do get shot, this tank just it, it's it's almost as bad as the Leopard PTA, which it incidentally is probably going to be the next day's tanker I bring you, but it's prone to module damage and crew damage. Every time you get shot, modules get damaged, crew gets damaged, and you've got no armor. Um, it's it's horrible. Um, the gun, even though it's a German 88, the gun is bloody awful. I mean, the penetration looks okay, the damage looks okay, it's standard 88 stuff, but the accuracy is 0.38. So this, this, even though it's a long 88 based on German tanks, it's not a sniper. It can't snipe. The accuracy is not good enough. So it's got terrible armor. It can't brawl for a medium tank. It's got terrible accuracy. It can't snipe. Um, it, it's the, the, the grind when it's stock is terrible. Thankfully, I couldn't even face the stock grind. I free XP'd most of the modules. Um, there's just no role for this tank. While the maneuverability is okay, it gets up to 50 kilometers an hour. Um, you know, 50 kilometers an hour is nothing special. Uh, the power to weight ratio is about 18, which is quite good, but again, it's nothing special. So I think the maneuverability is, is basically poor. Um, you know, it can't flank because there are t tanks that do it better. It's a huge target. It's not very good at flanking. It's not very good at sniping. And it's terrible, absolutely terrible at brawling. There's just no role for this tank. But the only thing it can do is act as a support tank. And as I say, you're a huge target. Uh, when you get spotted, you're going to get shot. You're going to lose crew. You're going to lose modules. You are not going to bounce anything. And you can't use your gun depression because if you're using the final turret, you've only got six degrees of gun depression, which means you've got to expose the entire tank in order to get shots on target. I hate this tank so much. I'm so happy it's done and dusted and sold. Um, so really, the, this tank has very, very few strengths. And I just struggled and struggled and struggled to find a role for this game in the ta or for the tank in the game because it doesn't matter what gun you use, it's not a good sniper. The final gun is 105 millimeter. Yes, you get more alpha, but you get less penetration and less DPM. Um, you know, you can't use a scun depression on hills. You, you can't brawl with it. It's not a very good flanker. You can flank in it and play it as a medium tank. It's just, it's terrible at doing it because it's so big and it's not fast enough. And, and the arbor is just, Oh, it's dreadful. So, yeah, um, this is a tank that's gun is effective at medium to close range, but it's 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 got no armor to fight at medium to close range. So, um, I hated I hated this tank. Please, someone out there must like it. But I, I absolutely hated it. So I experimented with multiple guns. I experimented with the turrets. And in this particular game, as I say, everything's fully upgraded except the turret. And I'm using the 88 instead of the 105. So uh, yeah, I, I'm just I'm just going to go because this, this tank is just bloody depressing. Anyway, we're here on steps. Uh, I didn't mean to rant, guys, but I just, this, this tank, I, I wish, I wish I'd kept the, the T-34-100 at tier 7, even though I wasn't a big fan, because, oh, I tell you, the tier 9 and 10 better be bloody worth the grind, because this was awful. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not worth keeping at all, especially when I already own a Skoda T-40 that I hate, that I hate and is the same tank at tier 6. 
So, um, yeah, we're here on steps. It's a tier 9 game. I'm a tier 8, tier 9 game. There are four tier 9s on either side, one arty. And I'm just, I, I was so sick of this tank, I, I decided, you know what? For once, for once, there's lots of support. I'm gonna go for it. I'm going YOLO! I'm gonna play it like a brawler, even though it's a terrible brawler. Um, 59, 16, T10, T34, 100, T34, 3, Black Prince coming over, there's a Super Pershing VK2801 over here, so lots of support, and this is why I use the stock turrets, to try and get me that extra 2 degrees of gun depression, so I might actually be able to use it on hills, so uh, don't really want to poke with, with RT in the way, and I notice that the T10 is in trouble from the Emil 2, the Emil 2 will be on a reload soon, but in the meantime, no, I want to try and save the T-10, get a shot into the KV-5, he's trying to ram me. He gets a shot into me, and he does a huge amount of damage with a ram. He does about 290 damage with a ram, but it's okay, T-10 is still alive, and the enemy Emil is on a reload. And we managed to uh, miss our track shot, well, we hit our track shot, but failed to track. Oh, this bloody gun! We bounce on the Emil too. Yeah, the KV-5 was focusing on me and not focusing on the T-10, so the T-10's still alive, we're able to move around and get a shot from the MT-25, cheeky little bugger, but I'm brawling, I'm brawling in a TVP! Um, yeah, that was hectic, in fact, that was too quick to keep up with, but basically what happened was I needed to save the, uh, save the T-10 from the uh, KV-5, tried to go for a shot in the Emil while he was reloading, and another bloody bounce on the side of an AMX M4 Liberté! I hate this tag so much, but um, we've gotten one kill, we've just done 500 damage, and another bounce on the bloody side of a IS, and I, this tank, I, I just, there's no role for this tank, and another bounce on the Liberté, and I've just, I'm, I'm peed off now, I've, I've bounced my last four shots, so I switched to premium ammunition, going for the lower glacis, and I don't apologize for firing premium ammunition, because I needed it. So a shot into the side of the Liberté, but the premium ammunition gets me up to 237 penetration, 240 damage compared to 194. But we're able to put a shot through the weak turret side of the IS-6. A little bit of flat armor beside the gun mantlet in the IS-6 on his right hand side, but um, get a shot into his uh, upper plate there and he's coming for me. Yeah, he's focused on me. See, this is the problem. He puts a big shot in and this tank has absolutely no bloody armor. The only thing that's amazing about this game so far, as we finish up the IS-6 and we're still brawling, the only amazing thing is I haven't taken any crew or module damage yet, but failed to track the IS-3, went for a track shot, failed to track and move into cover behind the KV-5. And as I say, I'm actually, I'm actually brawling in a TVB. So we take out the IS-3. And, um, yeah, now we're gonna go to work on the AMX, maybe we can finish him off with a quick shot. There we go, and, yeah, a lot of premium ammunition used, but I was fighting a lot of tier 10 heavies, was bouncing a lot prior to using the premium ammunition, switch back to regular ammunition, and, whew, yeah, um, finally, finally have a chance for a breather. We're on four kills, amazingly. And as I say, every shot that was fired at me has penetrated, but we've done 2.2k damage, taken out most of the tier 8 heavies, uh, and we're just looking for more damage, more kills out of this game. And don't let this fool you, the TVP is absolutely bloody awful at, at bloody brawling, and I just got lucky, although I wouldn't say I got lucky with a lot of my bounces, but this gun can't snipe, and, and it's just, this gun does not perform, full stop, the accuracy is terrible. Uh, just can't snipe, can't shoot from distance, and, and as I say, you just pick up so many bloody bounces. Um, it's so unlike the German 88. It's just, if it was given German 88 st stats and German 88 performance, then it would be so much better. But we sneak up on the AT7, able to kill him for the uh, kill number 5. Uh, and now we're going to go to work on the STRV-1030, but uh, there's an MT-25 who's going to be an annoying little bugger camping up at K-9. Um, so just waiting for a little bit of support. Don't want to move in on this guy alone. So, scores are fairly comfortable at the moment. We're winning 11-7, but able to sneak a shot into the lower glacis. There's the MT-25, and there's the lack of gun depression. Get a shot into the MT-25. SDRV is running away. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm down to 394 health, so I kind of really don't want... Don't really want to risk anything, and a bloody gun at distance misses the side of the SDRV-103! Now, I did fire before I was fully aimed, and that was... That one probably would never have gone in, but... Yeah, you cannot fire this gun before being fully aimed, and that barrel gets in my way, he gets a shot into me, but we take out the MT-25. So, uh, just one tank left on the enemy team, we've picked up six kills, there's our top gun, and, um... Yeah, so, so happy. This this game was actually about 10 or 11 games before I finished my grind, so I did have to play the tank about 10 or 11 more times before being done with it, but there we go, that's the ace. So in addition to the ace, we picked up the Top Gun, uh, finished top on XP with uh, 1299, 2000, almost 3k damage done and 6 kills. <laughs> I still can't believe I went brawling in a TVP VTU and took on all their tier 8 heavies, but we somehow lived through it, we somehow had a good game, and uh, we finished up with just 387 assistance damage, so... Basically, the ace was based on, on the main damage I did myself. I spotted one, damaged seven, destroyed six, and because I had to fire a lot of premium rounds at the tier eight heavies, right during the brawling section of that, we ended up making a loss of 30,000 credits because the premium ammo is not cheap on this tank either, even though quite frequently you need it. It was my first game of the day, um, so I did pick up a nice healthy credit or XP total towards the final grind, but uh, I don't know. TVP VTU concept. It's done, it's dusted, it's sold, and I never, ever, ever want to play this tank again unless it gets significant buffs. I know someone out there, I know Beyond D, <laughs> Beyond D thinks the tank is okay, but I, I just can't get my head around how this tank should be played because it doesn't seem to be good at anything. I mean, at best, it's average at doing, you know, maybe some flanking, um, but it's terrible at brawling, even though we had <laughs> a good brawling game there. It's terrible at sniping. Um, so, yeah, it's a support tank, a full stop, and I, I think it's one of these tanks that maybe, maybe if I were to play the game again and I knew what I knew now, I'd probably just free XP my way through the entire tank. I hated it, really did, and I think the Tier 7 is so much better than this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. T-34, 100 for anything bad I said regarding you because you are so much better than the TVP VTU concept. Anyway, let me know how you guys got on in the tank. Um, is it as horrible as I think or maybe is it just down to me as a player? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.